Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We're going to do another collective read here, okay? Uh, the date, um, it's not really important, but I do like to state the date just in case somebody's wondering when it's recorded. It's uh, Monday, August 8th, 2022. It's Lion's Date. It's the day, 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, hope you're having a great day, but I, I know I am. It's, uh, I got to stand outside in the rain. It was great. It felt good. But, uh, yeah, let's get back to the reading here. I, it is a timeless read. I don't use the genders and I don't use the signs. So if this is your reading, you're going to know right away by the descriptions of the characters and the storyline. So take what applies. Toss the rest. Don't try to make it fit. It's a general read, so not every read is going to be for you. If it's not resonating, please feel free to look at other readings that I've posted. Again, it's timeless, right? So if the title um, leaps out at you, chances are there's something in it for you. Okay. I will be using the he and she pronoun. It's only to keep it straight in my head. No other reason. Okay. If you wouldn't mind, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. Okay. Here we go. The Phoenix. Resurrection. Surrender to change. Card 29. So, 2 and 9, that's 11. So, justice is here. Ooh, somebody's getting their justice. Somebody's raising from the ashes here. It's good. Again, maybe a second chance at something or a second chance at life. Someone surrendered to change. Maybe it's somebody that's stubborn and doesn't like change. They're a creature of habit, maybe. I know I can be like that, too. All right? Uh, my son signs Virgo, so that's, we're kind of like that sometimes. But uh, I know Taurus. If you're a Taurus out there, you guys are stubborn. But uh, yeah, it never hurts to change. Uh, try something new. You never know. You might like it. Phoenix, card number 29. What's this here, please, Spirit? You got to clarify on that. Somebody counted you out. You're not out. Palm trees, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. That sounds good. That sounds like a phoenix, right? You come back from the ashes, all right. Wow. So the grim, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Grim Reaper. The relationship's over. No second chance to grow and transform your life. So that is a phoenix, okay? Somebody counted you out. You're not out. You're right here where you need to be. Okay, congratulations. So let's get some uh, cards on that, some tarot on that. Hey guys, Guardian Angels, Ancestor of the White Light. What is the message for the collective for today? We have Phoenix card number 29, the Palm Tree. What is the message you would like the collective to know at this hour, please? Page of Wands, good news is coming towards you. It's good. Remember, uh, with the tarot, I'll give you the descriptions of the cards as they come out. Uh, their interpretation and what I pick up intuitively. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions. Some are one. Okay, and then we bring it together at the end. If it doesn't make sense, it only means it's not part of your story. So chuck it, okay? Leave it for somebody else. There we go. Are we ready, Spirit? Yeah. I haven't used this deck in a long time. It's the zombie deck. It's, uh, they're a little slippery. Zombie tarot. First card up, star. Wow. This is healing, resurrection for sure, right? Wow. Somebody's getting some accolades here. This is like a, getting a medal pinned on them. Maybe you're getting congratulated for something. It could be out in the public eye. This is healing, well-balanced, wish fulfillment, divine intervention, divine guidance. You could be an inspiration to the world. Yeah, something's a tower here, okay? Tower in reverse, bottom of the deck. Something came crashing down here. This could be a big shock. It doesn't have to be a bad tower, okay? But it could be a big shock. This is something that was destined. Something crashed around. It's crashed in your life, okay? Never to be r resurrected. It was something that didn't belong in your life at all. This was destiny to propel you where you need to go, the wheel of fortune, okay? You might have felt like you were pinned to this target, to this and, and going round and round in circles here. People were throwing daggers at you maybe, but you made it, you made it. This is destiny, this is judgment. I can't make this up, okay? This is a resurrection, that is the card of resurrection, the judgment. It's a comeback here, queen of pentacles in the upright. So be stable and secure, okay? Abundant, um, hardworking, independent. Wow, good with money. You're not going to be wanting after that, I think. This is a beautiful, I think it's going, to, it's going to be a beautiful read here. Okay, so why is the star in the upright? This is wish fulfillment for you. Oh, they are slippery, sorry. Bear with me, that came out. Ooh, six of swords. There's a blockage here. 
somebody doesn't want you to move forward with something. They tried to hold you back, maybe. Trouble's looming. They didn't want you to move on. You're a rising star. They wanted to block you. Block your wishes, maybe. Your wish fulfillment. It, because you have an offer coming in. This is a golden opportunity coming into you. Bottom of the deck, Ace uh, of Hazards. Could be an offer. Could be something tangible. Something um, very valuable. That's going to take you into a place where you can breathe easy. Uh, build from that uh, possible generational wealth. Okay? This is a gift from the divine here. Okay? You could be gifted. You could be very gifted. I'm going to leave it out. Yeah, somebody was reckless, careless, and foolish here. Fool in reverse. Okay, they took unnecessary risks with something. And um, the Seven of Cups is beneath that. So there were illusions here. Seven of Cups, somebody's running out of time, out of options. People are seeing clearly what's going on here. Okay. Yeah. So we have the... Uh, Six of Swords in reverse. Some they can't escape this. They don't want you to move up, move forward towards this golden opportunity. Okay, you have wish fulfillment here. You're a rising star, possibly, possibly in the in the in the public eye. I don't know. Nine of Swords here. Okay, so somebody's stressing. They're not able to eat or sleep. They're very burdened with something, possibly haunted by something. Okay, they could be take taking needles. I don't know. It could be a diabetic for all we know, but it could also be drugs. See how she's coming at this person with that needle and they're not, they're looking away. Like she's glaring at this person. I don't know. Kind of looks like somebody was menacing or had it out for you or something. Maybe they wanted you like this, stressed out. I don't know. They're not eating, they're not sleeping. They're very burdened with something. I believe it's, they're, they're haunted with something they've done. Yeah, they could have lost a position. Uh, nine, nine, if this resonates with you this could be for you they lost their position maybe they were gunning for you or gunning for a position that you have nine of cups in reverse somebody had addictions they were smug full of themselves and selfish um, this is not a success this is no achievement here they were show off and a know-it-all possibly always wanting to be the center of attention right nine of cups in reverse could be always in their cups who knows four swords yeah Somebody's taking some time out to think about this, or they've been, they were lying on the truth for a long time. They could be praying right now. I don't know. Or maybe you've healed from this. I don't know. I keep saying, I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> Sorry, forgive me. Uh, we have a uh, page of pentacles in reverse. They could be losing some money here. They could have lost their position, lost some money. Um, took some risks and it, it didn't pan out, okay? They failed at something. They didn't put enough effort into it. They didn't, um, they were disrespectful. They were lazy. Possibly fed somebody some f false information. Maybe they fed you false information about some monies. It's, that's a pentacle. It's a page of pentacles. Didn't disclose some information about some monies. We'll see. Here if it, to the courts maybe they didn't put enough effort into a relationship a marriage this could be courts this could be um the here fit is is um yeah they didn't put an, enough effort into a relationship i think they ghosted you maybe the hermit yeah right this could be a higher uh power involved either the divine it could be spirituality didn't take credit. They didn't want you to take off in something. This is government job. Any entity that oversees, right? It could be also a marriage. They didn't. Maybe they didn't want to give you a marriage, um, a divorce settlement. I think it has applies. I don't know. Why is the page of pentacles in the reverse? Could have lied about their income if it is a separation or divorce, right? On the court papers, nine of wands. Somebody is somebody's a, a wounded warrior here. Okay, somebody overcame a, a really trying cycle. They persevered. Um, there's lack of trust here. Okay, nine of wands. So somebody's not trusting this information or something like that. Mm. They're going to challenge this information possibly. Six of hazards, right? It has to be fair. Is this fair? Um, it has to be an equal give and take. Six of hazards. That's six of pentacles, right? Giving and receiving. 
has to be stable, a family, a relationship. Uh, it has to be a fair price on a home or business, some sort of foundation. Somebody stable. It could be an offer coming in, promotion, uh, a gift of some sort, a monetary gift that's going to give you some stability here to buy a home. Maybe that's the the here from the overseer. It could be a, a bank, an institution, right? Maybe you don't have enough money to buy a home. Somebody's failing at something, and you're going to buy a home. Or maybe they wanted to stop you from buying a home. I don't know. Yeah, ten of wands. They're going to re. This is going to re um, alleviate your problems. Okay, your stress. Ace of wands. In the reverse. Somebody didn't want you to have any beginning. They wanted you to feel powerless, maybe. De 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 I, I just heard depleted, defeated. Right? Nine of Wands in the upright is the King of Swords. This could be law and order. It could be a, um, a, a police officer, an investigator, judge, a lawyer. Okay? Somebody doesn't trust the lawyers. Somebody's speaking some truth. There's some wounding here. So he's speaking some truth, maybe making a decision here. They're strategizing how they're going to speak the truth. Four was in reverse about a sale of a home or the breakup of a family or relationship. Uh, loss, there could be a loss. It could be a foreclosure. It could be a banker. It doesn't have to be. It could be anybody speaking their truth, right? Somebody's very cold, acting cold towards another. Uh, it could be a breakup. Ten of Wands. Somebody had a point to prove or something, or if they have to prove something, there's stability that they are stable, that they are they're, they're going to be taking action. There's a new passion opportunity possibly coming in, taking some sort of action. Sorry, forgive me. I'm trying to. The energies are a little all over the place. Oh, we have counterparts side by side. Queen of Swords next to this person. Damn. This could be. Mm. They're not looking at each other. It could be at odds, right? This could, counterparts. Both speaking truths. The Queen of Swords and the Uprights also. That this person's very experienced. Okay, this person's very um, wise, wizened. Uh, they operate just solely on the truth. Okay, they don't. They don't listen to the emotional pleas. They they go by fact. This one as well. Okay, this one's got a sharp tongue. This one acts cold. They're not very open, inviting. This one is very intuitive, very w wise and, and intelligent as well. Uh, they, they're a human lie detector, the Queen of Swords, the Upright. They set boundaries very well. And uh, they speak the truth and they, they clear people away or things that do not apply in their life anymore. It's almost like she, they're both holding guns. It's like they don't trust one another. I don't know what's going on here, okay? I don't know. She's got like a look on her face like, I like this. I like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this person. <laughs> it could be a rival in court. It could be lawyers going at it by back to back. I don't know. Somebody's walking into a trap or maybe one person, one wanted the other to rock, walk into a trap, but she's quite happy it was somebody else's foot that got into it, right? There's beer cans around here. So somebody could be a drinker or something. I don't know. These cards are interesting. This person's got a lot of wins behind them, but she's having fun playing with them. I think they're lapping back and forth in a court of law, right? One zinger after another. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. It's just a feeling of getting, right? Yeah, something's coming to an end here. Okay, a big cycle's ending. This is victory for someone here. <laughs> I'm moving forward. Could be a traveling, could be moving. Uh, Page of Swords. Um, this could be an investigation. Somebody's witnessing this. Um, delayed communication from afar, maybe. We have the Knight of Hazards in reverse. So something took a long time. Uh, yeah, somebody was uh, being unfaithful. They weren't being honest. Uh, something's ended. They can't move on with something. So they're fighting over an ending of something, ending a, a, a cycle. Three of Wands. Somebody wants to move on, okay? They don't want to go back. Somebody's prepared to move forward with something. Kind of looks like... Somebody wants to, it could have been a home invasion. That there's, Somebody's trying somebody for a home invasion. I don't know. Crashing a party, party crashers. Uh, so it has some, something to do with that. This is teamwork as well. So they could be deliberating together. I mean, they're, they're getting together. They're following. Maybe it's, uh, it, could, it doesn't have to be law. It could be any, any form of 
work or situation where they're going back and forth with ideas. But they're having fun. Maybe they're just a couple that just has fun insulting one another and it's just for fun. I don't know. Something's coming to an end. Something. It, it, the world in the upright doesn't mean a, a, a big, I mean, a, an ending. It could also mean victory here. Protection, right? Could be on the web. Okay, going back and forth on the web. I don't know. I heard comedian. Six of Cups in reverse. So the three of wands in the upright, six of Cups in the, word, in the reverse. So there's no reconciling. It could, yeah. Somebody's moving on. They're not turning back. There's no reconciling this. Maybe unrequited love. Um, planning on moving, moving at a distance. Knight of Swords in reverse. We got a lot of swords here. What's going on? Somebody was reckless. Mm. Could have been abusive. Very hot tempered, okay. Could have been a crime that was committed. So I think it is lawyers volleying, volley, volleying back and forth, right? And reckless. In love? Lovers. This is a hopeless romantic. They were reckless. They were abusive in a relationship. Okay. We got it. It could be, it doesn't have to be physical. It could be any kind of abuse, okay? M m mental, emotional, f financial abuse. I mean, yeah, the emperor in reverse. Somebody had a huge ego, okay? They went too far. Yeah, they went too far. This is a big ego, very conceited, arrogant, controlling, power hungry. They went too far here, I, I believe. Seven of Cups had multiple options. Yes, they did. Seven of Cups. So this is a, a divorce or a breakup. Three of Swords. Talking shit about one another. Three of Swords in reverse, right? To their conquests. To their, to their, to their, you know, their side pieces maybe. They were talking shit about you. Knight of Cups. Yeah, they were insincere. They, they were a player energy. Lie, uh, you know, smile on your face, lie through their teeth, right? Into casual hookups. Wow. Never following through with, with promises. They they seduce. They chase after people, and then when they get what they want, they're gone. Devil energy. There we go. We're getting to the, the crux of it, okay? Could be addictions, obsessions. I mean, sex is an addiction. You can be addicted to sex as well, right? Any kind of thing that, that prevents you from moving on, that you, that binds you to to the devil, right? Obsessions, uh, anything, um, temptations, right? Two of Swords. Maybe you had no idea. Two of Swords in the upright. They were in denial. Uh, you blocked them. Yeah. You ghosted them. They get what they want. They ghost you. That could be it. They're really reckless. This person, fool in reverse. Yeah. They probably hit on people they figure are naive, right? Because they don't want. I mean, they probably hit on married people because they don't want the responsibility. They don't want, you know, they just want to live a life of a player, maybe, and they're they're married. I don't know. Some people are like that. It's not good. Justice is here. That means that something wasn't right, wasn't fair. So somebody's you're getting your justice. Okay, you had a player energy. It could be a female in 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 emperor mode as well in the reverse. Okay, so gender doesn't play here, but. Yeah, you're getting your justice here. This is the universe balancing things out. That's karma, okay? A lot of lies and secrets here. The high priestess and the upright. Big time ego. <laughs> yeah. I fed their ego. Definitely. You intuitively knew that they uh, you had strong intuition. And that's for sure. If you are intuitive, high priestess and the upright and strength. You have integrity, loyalty, and honesty here. Ace of Wands, yeah, they got an STD. Wow. Secretly. A big secret. They had an STD. They got, they got an STD, but you intuitively knew that, okay? Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah. They're having an emotional outburst here. They were immature and insincere, okay? Yeah, it's the end of the road, okay? They didn't invest in your relationship. They invested elsewhere. It's time to move on. Right? They're relocating or you're relocating. It's the end of the road. Four swords. You've thought about it long enough. You, you've, you've laid awake at night thinking about this, right? That's all you thought about. That's all you focused on all this time. 
tried to numb the pain with alcohol maybe it's it's done it's now you're healing you're gonna put this behind you okay judgment that's been called there's awareness right there's the judgment resurrection you're coming back from this sorry so so my apologies you're resurrecting from this you're 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 coming back from this okay yeah, you, you feel emotionally, Five of Cups in Reverse. So you've been doing a lot of work on yourself while they were out playing. Okay, they didn't even notice, possibly. You knew what was going to happen, right? Eight of Wands. No communication. You stopped this, okay? That's not going anywhere. Eight of Wands in Reverse. This is bad news for the partner that was mistreating you, breadcrumbing you, maybe defrauding you, using and abusing, right? They have addictions that go to extremes, inappropriate behavior you're not reconciling with this person they've got uh, an std it's in the blood as you can see they went and got a test here yeah or maybe it's not fair that they gave you this i don't think that you wound up with it maybe you were worried about it kept you up at night worried about it right but i think you're fine okay eight of wands they got the news that they got this right Page of Swords. And they lied. They went around lying. They got, they knew they had this and they lied about it. Wow. To somebody, to um, somebody in a leadership position or they could have a leadership position. This is a fool, all right, because they wanted to play around. Damn. And beneath that, we have the Knight of Wands. That's player energy. So they kept it to themselves. Now they're stuck. That's a crime. Damn. Okay, I can see why this is in court now. Okay, I got chills. It's resonating, so yeah. Yeah, Ten of Hazards. They're losing everything. Their family, their money. Whatever this is was unstable. This is instability. Okay. Breakup of family. This is... Whatever the... This is a breakup. This is... They're losing a lot of money here. Trying to defend themselves, maybe. I don't know chariot in the upright there's clarity here there's radical acceptance there's awareness somebody's moving forward with something okay four of pentacles they're opening up maybe or you're you've let them go you've moved on yeah you left them behind you took control you took back control of your life you left them behind you, you released this attachment to this person and this is a tower moment for them in reverse okay this is ruin for them I mean, they could be a, uh, a person in the limelight. They could be a leader in your community or, you know, I don't know, somewhere. Four of Wands is a breakup. It's a divorce. They're non-committal. They could be losing their home, their stability, their business. Well, that's a choice they made, not you, right? Three cups, right? Drinking, partying, three cups in reverse. Uh, parting away is not happy. They could have been spreading egregious gossip or, or people, your friends, People in your community gossiping about this now. This is embarrassing. Ten of Wands in reverse, right? You want to put all these burdens down. They put these burdens on your back. You're putting these burdens down. You you know, yeah. You've had enough. You've had enough of this heartbreak. Three of Swords in the upright. It's time to heal from this, right? The Hermit in reverse. Everybody knows the truth now. The Hermit reverse. Okay? It's, it's going around town. Everybody knows the truth. Eight of Swords. You let go. You let go. You've released this, okay? You, they're not renting space in your head anymore. Okay, there was a lot of lies and illusions and fear now. I don't know. There's a lot of fear. A lot of lies and illusions behind your back. That's what it is. They did this all behind your back. You're stable and secure, okay? You're abundant. You're hardworking. You're loving, nurturing, healing. You have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. It's out of your hands. The hands are gone on this person, right? You've, I think you've cried enough tears here. I think it's time to move on. You're not shackled to anything anymore, okay? See, that's maybe the fur coat. So you're getting rid. You're you're parting with all all the the. Maybe you're you live an affluent affluent life. Maybe it's not worth it anymore. You're getting rid of the fur coats, the cars, the bling. You know what I mean? You're letting it go. So you just want to have a healthy and stable life. Yeah, five of wands, right? There's so much commit. Um, conflict here so many competitors it could be somebody in the, in the public eye fighting over each other there's drama right a lot of illusions and lies deception people are two-faced right five of swords playing games with you you took the high road you're gonna take the high road you're, you're walking away from this you're, you're walking away and they're, they're, they're left hanging right 
No, you're not doing this anymore. Good for you. You have integrity. You know your worth and value. That uh, the Queen of uh, Wands, Queen of Wands, sorry, Queen of pa Pentacles, the hazards here, male or female doesn't matter, is the Queen of value and worth. And you're not going to compromise that. No one's going to compromise you. You're coming back from this. Queen of Pentacles, where are we going with this in the upright? Let's bring it to a close, please, at 25. 25, please. Thank you. Queen of Wands in reverse. They could have thought maybe you were promiscuous yourself, but you're stable. Or they went around secretly saying that you were promiscuous. Somebody's scared. Somebody's jealous. I don't know. Loss of power. You're giving it all up, right? Eight of Wands. It's fast communication, fast action. You could be traveling. Yeah, you're taking, you're taking action here. Boom. Death. Resurrection. This is a death and rebirth, by the way. This is you coming back. This is it. You've called, you called uncle. You've called, um, you, you're calling the shots now. Okay. This is happening quickly and you're in, in your favor here. You move in, you're moving on. You feel from this, um, you know, I just got it in my head, right? People are going to judge you based on the, so, um, the circles that you hang out, you know, that, that you're in. Okay. You're guilty by association. So you're done. You're done. No. I don't want to be part of this. Good for you. Five of Wands, right? There's a lot of conflict. A lot of fighting and drama. You you don't want that anymore. You're walking away. It, this could You could have been conflicted about making this decision. But it's for the best. Here's the Phoenix. Resurrection. You're surrendering to this change. So two and nine, that's justice in, in tarot. You're getting your justice here. This is karma for them. The universe is balancing things out for you. So palm tree, you could be going um, on vacation or moving to a nice place, nice sunny place, right? Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. This is what your life is going to be like. Stable, secure, no more bullshit, okay? No more people playing games behind your back, making you look horrible, you know, unbeknownst to you, spreading lies and gossip about you. How are we ending the read for the collective? Please, spirit guides. This is wonderful. It's beautiful. I like these kinds of reads. Go the distance in reverse. 47. So that's 11. Again, in reverse. So somebody... Could have been a miscarriage of justice. It could have been, again, something wasn't right. wasn't balanced. We have a cheetah, cheetah. Obviously, it was a cheetah, right? <laughs> Almost made it. Without being caught, they fell apart. Everything fell apart for this person. The stars are here indicating that that's divine intervention. You were divinely protected and guided throughout, okay? You're going to make it to the finish line. They won't. Um, see the spots? They do have a disease here, okay? They're falling apart right now, maybe. They're very ill. I, I just, I don't understand why people do that to themselves. I guess people feel like they're invincible, right? I mean, when we're teenagers, we go through that, right? Oh, that won't happen to me. Yeah, I can. These things nobody's immune to, right? So 47 reverse. I shall read it for you. Just bear with me. I'll have to find it. 43. Come on. 47 reverse. So the message is, do you feel as if you've been wandering in the desert now for ages and ages and nothing's happening? When you conjure up the image of a desert, you picture parched lips, sunburned skin, and mirages. But there's more to it than that. Amid the hot sands are creatures with resilient spirits, tough skins, and willingness to burrow deep underground for water so that they may thrive. This is a time of developing survival skills and resilience. You are learning how to conserve your strength, and in this temporary time of austerity, it's wise to be selective about where you expend your energy. Listen to the call of your soul, because it will never lead you astray. This is an important time for letting go of what's not important. Here we go. Again, justice. There was an injustice committed, right? You're in the balance here. You're moving on from this bullshit. I'm very happy for you. So congratulations. I hope this helps. Please like, share, subscribe, and until next time, take care.